Uh, we had an excellent meeting. It was. The Israelis have been evacuating neighborhoods instead of entire cities, so focusing in on a much more deliberate way on those who may be uh, in harm's way uh, as they conduct the, the campaign against Hamas, establishing some deconfliction areas, uh, some safe areas that people can go to uh, where they can be safe from being in the line of fire, uh, and having a more narrowly focused area of where this military operation is actually being conducted. Having said that, um, as we stand here almost a week into this campaign in the, the South after the end of the humanitarian uh, pause, it is imperative, it remains imperative that Israel put a premium on civilian protection. And there does remain a gap between exactly what, what I said when I was there, the intent to protect civilians and the actual results that we're seeing uh, on the ground. ...of all the issues that you discussed. We continue to recognize the uh, extraordinary difficulty of this task as Israel is dealing with a terrorist adversary that intentionally embeds itself with civilians. But again, Israel has an obligation to do everything possible to put a premium on protecting civilians and maximizing humanitarian assistance. And this partnership with the United States. This is something that we're uh, talking about uh, with uh, the Israelis on a, on a regular basis, including uh, as recently as today, and including in the President's conversation with Prime Minister Netanyahu earlier today, for their loss uh, and for your loss.